The FBI is joining the investigation into power outages in North Carolina. And officials say were caused by intentional and targeted attacks. More than 35,000 customers are waking up without power after gunfire left two substations damaged. This is a terrible act, and it appears to be an intentional, willful, and malicious act. And the perpetrator uh, will be brought to justice and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So a mandatory curfew overnight was lifted in the last hour. CNN's Whitney Wild is on the ground in, in Moore County, and because of the power outages, she couldn't get to a live signal, so she filed this report just moments ago. Here it is. At this point, there is a lot more we don't know than a lot more we do know. Uh, law enforcement here saying that the FBI is involved as well as the State Bureau of Investigation. Right now, all that they can say is that these two substations sustained gunfire. They also know that one of the gates leading into at least one of those substations appears to have been taken off the hinges. As far as the motive goes, law enforcement cannot say what the reason is. There had been some talk on social media that this may have been somehow connected to a drug show it's somewhere in Moore County. However, law enforcement cannot say that that's the motive right now until they're able to figure out who did this. And they say they have really no idea at this point who did this. The motive is going to be extremely difficult to figure out. Uh, meanwhile, here in Moore County, schools are closed until uh, at least tomorrow. Um, again, more than 40,000 people are without power. The likelihood here is that power won't be restored until Thursday. I found this bizarre and troubling, and we can get into there are questions about potential domestic terrorism. What is your assessment this morning? Well, first of all, we've seen this before. Um, the first time this came up was 2013 in a place in the Medcalf plant in Coyote, California, pretty rural, targeted attack, over 100 rounds from sniper positions, fired over a period of something like 40 minutes, took out 17 transformers did 15 million dollars worth of damage but poppy in that one they were able to kind of reroute power to other stations not go through a big blackout um, but it took weeks to repair and because of that incident uh, we in the new york city police department our partners at con ed uh, the congress the department of energy started looking at what is the security on the electrical grid made a lot of changes and recommendations so this is the second one of these we've seen. The real question here is motive. Was it to take out the power station? Was it to deny um, power to a theater that was holding a controversial LGBTQ event that night in Moore County, where the theater was blacked out and they had to call off the show? Right. Um, we don't have that right now. Well, that was my question, is why? Because the local sheriff deferred those questions that you're talking about, whether this was attack. Um, there was a domestic terrorism um, attack saying, you know, we have to figure this out. So where is this investigation right now, and how do you figure that out? So, I mean, the first thing you're looking for is a communique. Um, if it has a political purpose, usually the person who's behind it wants to announce that and say it was us and it was for X. Uh, we haven't seen that yet. Yeah, but for the purpose of what? Why would someone do this? Just, just for chaos? Or is there, you know what I'm saying? Well... It's really interesting about the timing. Um, on November 30th, uh, DHS sent out a confidential advisory to law enforcement. So that's just a few days ago, saying we are in a heightened threat period mm. for domestic violent extremists. A. B. Targets will uh, likely include um, LGBTQ events uh, and targets, uh, critical infrastructure, government targets. So this is already out there in the ether. 